take me fishing My wife just had a fit She said if I'm going out tonight She's gonna put me on the naughty list Hey Santa, are you okay with this? Cause all I want is a big old musky for Christmas with uh, Guitar Gunny to talk about his new hit. What was the inspiration? Well, I wanted to write a nice, sentimental song that was about something other than trucks and fishing. Okay, but Gundy, the song is called Fishing with Santa. Yeah, well, that song is a hit, and it sells. And that's kind of all I care about. Don't change the station when I'm driving. Why not, Oli? That's a local legend singing right there, you know. Be careful, Oli. Guitar Gundy can probably hear us through the station. No, he can't. How do you know that, Oli? Yeah, because I turned the radio off. Besides, he should know better. He wanted to write a country song that was something other than trucks and fishing. But he didn't, Sen. Oh, but he wanted to, and that's enough to lose support from me. Besides, Santa would never forget the kids during Christmas. Oh, he would fit both the fishing and giving in at the same time. Ah, uh, Sven, don't you know that Santa isn't real? Oli! Watch what you say around the children. What? There's no children in here. But, but, but Oli, that's what your wife says whenever you say something out of line. And she's a smart woman, don't you know? So Santa is real. He is not. Yes, he is, He's not real. Oli, not, not. you have to have this argument. Do you argue with no. your wife like that, Oli? Yeah, all the time. And he's not real. That's why you're in the doghouse every single day. Well, I made it look really you nice. You just need to know when to give in. I put a nice TV in there and everything. Well, that's... N- Wow. But Santa isn't real. Yeah, he is real. No, oh. not real. Yeah, he... Oli! Oh! Oli! What was that? I think I hit a deer. Oh, for Scandinavia. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oli! Oh, this is no ordinary deer. It's a reindeer. What if you hit Rudolph? Oh, don't be silly, Sven. Or maybe you cursed us for disbelieving. Nonsense, Sven. Everyone knows Rudolph has a shiny red nose and... Oh, no. Holy. Oh, you did it good this time. That nose is redder than Lena's cheeks after you kiss her. Oh, it's Rudolph for sure. Gosh. Oh, no, you're right, Sven. That sure is a shiny nose if I've ever seen one. What are we going to do? Oh, well, if I were you, I'd start praying to the Lord to forgive you. Oh, you got the boat sinking this time, Oli. You cursed us both. We come here together to honor the greatest reindeer that ever lived. We don't know. Maybe there were other reindeer. No, he was the greatest one that ever lived, though, the Oli. That's the point. Well, he's not living now. He played a lot of reindeer games, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was playing Red Rover until you ran her over there, Oli. Well, uh, I didn't. I, I, Gosh. I, I, I didn't. I didn't meet. I didn't okay, meet this to. is the best reindeer here, and now he's six feet under the ground, and the best thing he's doing is being fertilizer for the next patch of grass when spring comes. But he was a great guy, you know. And so let's just have a couple moments of silence for... Rudolph. Uh, Sven? Yeah, I know. I see. I, I his, think we're going to need to see. His, dig, his dig antlers are hole. sticking out over there. They're I know. All the way up. Forgive me, Scandinavia. Oh, there we go. No one will ever know now, Sven. Yeah, yeah, but how do you know that, Oli? Santa's. Because the red light is out on his nose. Santa's going to know, and he's going to put you on the naughty list. And who's going to fly Santa's sleigh if not Rudolph? Well, I'm already on that naughty list with Lena. And it can't get much worse than that. And Santa has like eight other reindeer. I'm sure they'll be fine. That's not how the song goes, Oli. Rudolph is the most important one. None of the kids in town are going to get their gifts this Christmas. Well, we need to find him a new reindeer, Oli. But how are we going to do that without Santa noticing? Maybe we can go to his house. But I don't know where he lives. Uh, but, but Oli, I, I saw a sign the other day that Santa's coming to the waffle breakfast at the senior center. 
If we go to that waffle breakfast, oh, we can find out where he lives for sure. Yeah, but I'm more of a potato pancakes kind of guy. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Hey, Radley, we got uh, 17 orders of waffles from the Anderson family. You wanna hey, get on that? Hey, holy. Everyone here seems kind of short for a senior citizen. Don't be ridiculous, Sven. Don't you have any respect for your elders? Judging old people just because of how short they are. Hey, misters, the line for Santa Claus starts back there. No budget. Well, I'm sorry there. See, how old are you? I'm six. My name is Winona. See, Sven? Winona here says she's 60. No, six. Oh, no. She's 66, Sven. No, six. You know, Winona, I, I know it's hard getting older, but there's a lot of benefits to being a senior citizen. Like half price on those waffles over there. Hey, look! Here he comes! Santa! 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 Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Yes, indeed. I'm Santa. Look at me! Ho, 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 ho! Boys and girls, who wants to tell Santa what they want for Christmas first? Now let's start here. What's your name? Winona. And have you been good this Christmas? Yes, I've been perfect, Santa. Ho, ho, ho! Oh, yes, of course. Now, uh, what is it you want for Christmas? I want a horse. Oh, like one of those little play horses? No, I want a real one. Brown and furry with a little stripe on his nose. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, uh, kind of a big request, isn't it? <laughs> right, Mom and Dad? <laughs> Yes, but there's nothing else in the world I want. Can't you just imagine flying like the wind? Oh, uh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, like the, the reindeer on my sleigh. Uh, I can imagine. Uh, now, here, smile for the camera. Now look at your dad. Anytime now. All right. Follow Blinky the elf out the door. Thanks, Santa. I'm counting on you. Hope you get your horse, Winona. Oh, yeah, yeehaw, don't you know? Uh, who are you guys? But if you get a lump of coal, I know a guy who heats his house with it. Um, okay. I'm gonna go now. <clears throat> ho, ho! Who's next? Step right up. Okay, Sven. Uh, you first. No, no, no. You go, Oli. No, you. No, you. You, you go first, Oli. You. Uh, my my pleasure. You go first. Uh, okay, Sven, Santa's uh, a, a busy first. man. No, uh, we don't have all day. No, you go first, Oli. <laughs> ho, ho, and all that. Ah, uh, don't you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Santa, yeah, uh, we just wanted to know where you live. Where I live? Why, everyone knows that. Uh, I live at the North Pole, of course. North Pole, you say? How about how far north of Duluth is that? So far, only a reindeer could get there. <laughs> See, what are you guys playing at? It's going to be a long week for me in here. I got a lot of kids to get to. Oh, yeah, we know, but don't you have, like, an address or something we could use? No! Back off so I can finish my job. Or I'll put you on the... <laughs> or I'll uh, put you on the naughty list. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. We wouldn't want that. We would never do anything to deserve that. You mind if we take a quick peek at the list there? Just want to make sure uh, that we're registered. Sven and I have such low IQs that we don't make more censuses, you know? Yeah, we actually can't vote anymore. Both parties took us off the list, too. No! Uh, Merry Christmas! <laughs> now scram! I don't think Santa is such a nice guy there, Sven. He must be from Wisconsin. You're from Wisconsin, Oli. Oh, no, no, no. That, that was fake news on the birth certificate. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, but no wonder Santa was going all New Jersey on us. We're probably on the naughty list by now for sure. So what are we gonna do? He said he lives way past Duluth, where only reindeer can fly. Oh, wait a second there. Wait, Ollie. Didn't he say he would be here all week? Yeah. Well, we don't need to go to the North Pole. We can get another reindeer and bring it right back to the waffle breakfast. Yeah, but won't he know it's not Rudolph? Well, do you have a better idea, Ollie? Nope. You, Sven? Nope. You, Ollie? Nope. You, Sven? Nope. You, Sven? Nope. No, oh, oh, so, sorry, oh sorry, sorry, that was your turn there. That was your turn. Nope. 
Yeah, so I found some fresh reindeer droppings over here. Got a couple pics on the trail cam. Yeah, but hunting with a bow or a shotgun is one thing, but how are you going to catch it? Oli, we aren't going to catch it. It's going to catch us. What? You see, I got this rope running here by this fresh salt block over here and some apples. When the reindeer runs over here like this, then it gets its hoof snagged in the rope. And then on the other side here, we're going to tie our boots to the rope. Oh, this is a bad idea, Sven. Why is that, Oli? Because when a rope snags, a reindeer will take our boots. You gotta run it through our belt loops. But Oli, that will take our pants. Yeah, but boots cost more. Besides, it's like 30 degrees. Kind of a short stay anyway, you know? Oh yeah, Oli, that's a good point. Okay, so give me the end of the rope and I'll lie here. And you lie over there. Okay. Oli! Oli! How are you doing? Oli? Oli? Can you hear me, Oli? Oli! What are you doing there? That salt block is for the deer. Oh, sorry, Sven. Lena had me in the doghouse for the last week, and I haven't eaten any hot dish since Sunday, you know? Stop licking that salt block. It ain't good for you. Oh, sure it is. Salt holds all the water in, you know? Oh, yeah, but that's the last thing you need, Oli. You've been eating too much left, so you're starting to look like the Battle of the Bulge. You could afford to be put in the doghouse a few more times, you know? Oh, Sven, listen. Oh, Oli, you better hide. I think that's a reindeer. Oli, why don't you call it in with that buck call there? Shh. <laughs> Oli, what is that? You're an embarrassment to all of Shakopee, making that deer run away. Right towards us? Oof the! Oh. Oli, hang on! It's just like water skiing, you know? Grab onto its hide! I can't, Sven! I'm losing my pants! Well, I said that would happen! Hey! I'm losing mine too! Oh, that's it, you reindeer! You know you ain't getting my favorite overalls, don't you know? Oh! oh. I got him, Oli! I got him! Hold him right there, Sven! Stand still! Ah, now we got gotcha. you! Oh, good job there, Sven. How are we gonna get this reindeer home? Well, normally I'd skin it. Oli, we gotta keep it alive. Oh, yeah, that's right. Maybe if we set out a long line of apples, it will follow us all the way to the waffle breakfast. But we gotta go through the woods so no one notices. Oh yeah, kinda like how Lena gets you to walk all the way to the doghouse by leaving you a long line of hot dish. Oh yeah, she's a smart woman. She knows I love that hot dish. Oh yeah, we love that hot dish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, especially with some tater tots oh, on yeah. it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. You're making yeah. me hungry now. Here, old boy. Rudy. Rudy, 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 Rudy. Yeah, here's another apple, Rudy. Rudy, Rudy. Yeah, that's a good boy. Sven, how are you gonna get Rudy inside the Waffle House? I, I think just the back door, Sven. If we go behind that Dodge Daytona back there, no one will know. Oh yeah, okay, here. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. Let me know when you got the door open, Sven. Oh, just a second. Okay. Oli, I got the door open. Look out, Sven. I'm going to throw this apple inside. Okay, just no curveballs there, Oli. Right straight down the middle there. Okay, here it goes. Oh, a nice throw, Oli. Hey, now let's get going. Right behind you, Sven. Is that a reindeer? Rally, give me my spatula. Ah, that's my waffle thing. <coughs> Get him! Bradley! Bradley! Don't let him get away! <sighs> oh, it sounds like they're having a good time in there, Oli. Oh yeah, for sure. Must be polka time. Oh yeah, I love that polka time. Oh yeah. He's going for the mixer. <gasps> He's dashing. He's dancing. Oh, forget the special. Give me my flamethrower. It's out back. Bradley! Bradley! He's to the tank to the five innings. He's to the end zone. Touchdown. A house call for the Green Bay Packers, and they beat the Vikings again, knocking them out of a playoff We'll get spot. that Super Bowl ring next year. 
Or the year after that. Or after that. Or the year after that. Some of them. Oh yeah, that's for sure. One of these years. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Don't worry, I got it, Oli. Sheriff Harley, Shakopee Police Department. Oh, hey there, uh, Sheriff Harley. Uh, well, how come you aren't watching the game there? Don't waste my time, Sven. I've got a lot of things to get to, and this is the last place I want to be. Busy time of year, don't you know? Well, this is the last place we want you to be, too. Oli, get out here, or this is going to be a bigger problem. Hey there, Sheriff Harley. Listen, Sven, Oli... Someone let a reindeer loose in the Waffle House. Oh, oh no, no way. way. Oh, no yeah, yeah. Oh, That's so crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. And we know. followed a bunch of apple trails to the woods and found this trail cam. Does this happen to belong to you, Sven? Oh, of, of course not. I've never seen that trail cam in my life. But it has the name Sven Olsen written on it. Oh, that must be a different Sven Olsen. There's only one Sven Olsen who lives in Shakopee. Oh, yeah, but there's a lot of Sven Olsons in Minnesota. Must be from out of town. Listen, we also found a salt block. Oh, well, yeah, but you see, that salt block wasn't for the reindeer. It was for Oli. He was the only one who was using it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We already know, since the trail cam has pictures of Oli licking the salt block. Oh, oh, oh don't you know. Oh, hey, Oli, that's a pretty good-looking photo. Oh, yeah, hey, can I get a copy of that? Well, just so you two know... That reindeer you took was from the Shakopee Wildlife Reserve. And the penalty is 90 days in jail and a $1,000 fine. 90 days in jail? Oh, I really hope you catch the guys who've done it. Listen, I don't want to waste my time on you two, but this is your last warning. If I see you two with that reindeer again, you're going to get all of those 90 days. 90 days in jail, Oli? Yeah. Think they serve hot dish in there? Probably not, Oli. Oh, that's good to know. That means Lena isn't running the prison. <sighs> but what are we going to do, Oli? Well, Christmas is here tomorrow and none of the kids are going to get their gifts from Santa. I know, Sven. You know, I think we've done everything, but it's time to confess to the pastor. Yeah, yeah. I know, Oli. <laughs> Think Pastor Johnson is up this late? Yeah, he's got a lot of things to pray over in Shakopee. Oh yeah, Pastor Johnson. Sven, why do you say it like that? Like what? It's like you don't even know what accent you're speaking. What? Well, Pastor Johnson, everybody calls him Pastor. <laughs> oh, you say it so funny there, Sven. I, I do not. I say it like everyone else. Pastor. <laughs> Who do we go see on Sunday? We go see the pastor. I don't even know if we're driving to church or cornfield. Oh, well, how do you say it, Oli? What? Pasture. Well, I say it like the average Joe says it. Pasture. Oli, that's no different how I said it. No, see, you say it. Pasture. No, it's pasture. Yeah, that's what I said. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Oh, Oli, look what you did there. You drove right by the church there. Gosh, you passed her. <laughs> Was that the church over there or cornfield? It's like you're not even speaking English, Sven. Oli, when we get out of this truck, I'm going to roll you up like a piece of left side. Dear Lord, we pray for Sven and Oli this Christmas. Bless their families. A few times more than most families, if you can. Hey there, Pastor Johnson. How's it going? Oh, Sven and Oli. Well, maybe this is Providence. I was just thinking about you. Here, come, come. Sit down. Let me light another candle here. Why don't you just turn on the lights over there? Ah, this is Christmas. They're showing a light in the darkness. This is an Advent candle. It's marked with the days of December, and each day it burns down a little lower to show the passing of days until Christmas. Oh, yeah. Any way you could get that candle to burn any slower there, Pastor? Hmm. Man, that, that's a strange question. Uh, why? Um, well, you see, I, Sven and I, I mean, we, we, 
Oli, you're always so emotional. You, you see, what Oli is trying to say that is that, is that we, we. <laughs> Oli killed Rudolph. What? No, we both killed him. You were driving the truck. Yeah, but you were distracting me. <laughs> killed Rudolph? Hold on there. Uh, do you mind telling me what happened? Oh, it's a doozy there, Pastor Johnson. Yeah, you see, I was driving my Ford and we were arguing about Santa and, and then I hit a reindeer and now Rudolph can't play any more reindeer games or, or fly a sleigh. And and all the kids are, are going to be broke on Christmas and Sheriff Harley's going to fine us and, and put us in jail for 90 days because we caught another reindeer and brought it to the Waffle House oh, to give it back to Santa. Oh, and now Work on the naughty list! <laughs> well, so you were the ones that pulled that stunt at the Waffle House. <laughs> well, I, I can't change the law, so you're on your own with that. But I might be able to clear up some confusion about all this. Oh, yeah? That would be good. You said the reindeer you hit had a shiny red nose? Yeah. What color is your truck? Red and shiny. Oh, yeah, super shiny. Just got a brand new paint job. Hmm. Well, uh, you should probably check your truck to see if any paint chipped off. and might help explain it. As far as the arguments about Santa, maybe I can help you boys. I hate to break it to you, but Santa isn't real. See, I told you, Sven. Pastor Johnson, but I thought you were a Christian. Well, hold on for a second there. At least the version of Santa riding around on a sleigh, being flown around by reindeer, delivering gifts so every kid during Christmas... Ma- now, that Santa is indeed imaginary. A fantasy and a beautiful one at that, but... You know, on the other hand, Santa is real. As real as you and me. But not the version you may expect. Have you boys ever heard of St. Nicholas? Is he the guy that goes to the Waffle House? Because I'm not a big fan of St. Nicholas, if that's the case. No, no. You see, the Santa at the Waffle House is hired by the Senior Center. Drives over from Madison, Wisconsin. Oh, I knew it. The way they indoctrinate the kids these days. So, no, he he's not St. Nicholas. Uh, St. Nick is uh, very old. Now, St. Nicholas was a pastor much like myself. He was a bishop of a Greek church in Myra. Now, we don't know an awful lot about St. Nick. Many of the accounts of his life well, are written late and may contain some legendary elaborations. In one of the earliest attested and most famous incidents from his life, he is said to have rescued three girls from slavery. They couldn't afford the protection of a husband, and so men did unspeakable things to them. St. Nick delivered a sack of gold coins through the window of their house each night for those three, so, well, their father could pay the dowry for each of them. There's a good chance the story of the young girls he helped is true. But that means the beginning of the Santa legend was a man rescuing innocents from the clutches of slavery. It is this story that can inspire us to give to people in need on Christmas. Well, Pastor Johnson, that's a really beautiful story there. So you're saying the guy who flies reindeers doesn't actually do that in real life. But there was this old guy who snuck gold through the window to help the kids in the neighborhood. Uh, that's, That's a general idea. So the fantasies and legends about Santa, well, make no mistake... They can be quite valuable in helping us remember to give out the joy of our hearts on Christmas. The joy that Jesus gives and the charity and goodwill it produces in us. Well, that is no fantasy, so you may be pleased to know that you did not kill Rudolph after all. Oh, yeah, that sure is a sign of relief for me. You know, still got 90 days of jail time over our heads, maybe. Yeah, but that's a good start there. Thank you, Pastor Johnson. Ha, ha, Sven, you say it so funny. I do not. You do too. I do not. You do too. Uh, Merry Christmas, boys. Merry Christmas, Pastor. Holy, hold on. Stop. Did you hear that? No, what? I thought I heard something in the snow back there. This is the end, Oli. It's been nice knowing you. Yeah, me too, Sven. Most of the time. Oli? 
What are you doing here? Sven, don't you still have that apple in your coat? Okay. Here you go, Rudy. Rudy, 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 Rudy. What are you doing there, Rudy? I think he wants you to scratch his back. Oh, it's just like getting a puppy from the shelter, Oli. Yeah, except you go to jail, Sven. Yeah, but he's just so soft, you know. Aren't you, Rudy? Sven, we gotta get Rudy back into the woods before someone notices. Yeah, but Oli, he's gonna walk right back here, don't you know? Oh, this is a real doozy. Hey, Rudy! Here! Fetch! Hey, Sven! Those are the keys to the Ford, ya oaf! Yeah, but look, Oli! Rudy fetches! See? Sven! Rudy just swallowed my car keys! <laughs> yeah, Oli, but you'll get them back eventually. It's just a longer game of fetch. Sven, we gotta get rid of Rudy. Yeah, but how are we gonna do that? You know the girl at Winona we met in the waffle breakfast? Yeah? Well, she wanted a horse for Christmas, right? Yeah? Well, we got ourselves a pretty good looking horse right here. Oh, oh I see where you're going there, Oli. sure look funny in that beard, Sven. Oh, you look kind of oversized for an elf, Oli. <laughs> you think all these animals can pull this snowmobile? Oh, yeah, no problem. I took the engine out to lighten the load. Oh, you got all the animals hooked up back there? Yeah, hold on. The raccoon is being a little stubborn here. Now, none of that. This is Christmas. Okay, Oli, I got all mine hooked up here except for Rudy here. Well, Rudy, are you ready to make Winona's dreams come true? I'm sure gonna miss ya. Okay, Sven. They're getting kinda restless. That raccoon is foaming from the mouth there. Okay, I'm coming, Oli. How do we get them to move, Sven? I brought my spud launcher, Oli. I just shoved an apple down there. Hey, Rudy! Oh! There's her house right there. Hurry before the sun comes up. Okay, follow me. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. All right, old boy. I stop right here. All right, Oli. I I'll tie him to the fence post and wrap this ribbon around him. Why don't you get to writing that Christmas note? Okay, what should I write? I don't know. You're the one who knows how to. Oh, yeah, but you could tell me and I could write it. You be like the dictator. I'm not that kind of a guy, Oli. Oh, but fine. Okay, well, I would write... Dear Winona, I was all out of horses, so I gave you one of my reindeers. Love, Santa. P.S. Next year, please remember to put gluten-free cookies out. Oh, that's a good touch there, Sven. But why gluten-free cookies? Well, I figure her dad eats them, so the joke is on him. Oh, that's a good one, Sven. Yeah, I know. I thought so. Oh, yeah. He's going to be mad. Okay, Oli. Now get on the back of the snowmobile. The sun's coming up. Right there with you, Sven. Come on, down and Dylan, Prince of Vicks, Vapor Rub, Cephas and Chevy, and Dennis and Quaid. Dash away, dash away, away with my slate. Daddy, Daddy, look! There's a horse in our front yard. Santa gave us a horse. Merry Christmas, Mr. Horse. Wait, you don't look like a horse. You have antlers. That's strange. But, <laughs> hey, don't lick my face like that. <laughs> hey, what's this? Winona! Winona! What in the world? Who at Winona? I don't think that reindeer is supposed to be here. Sure it is. Look, they left a note for me. Dear Winona, I was all out of horses, so I gave you one of my reindeer. Love, Santa. Oh, no. Honey, I think I'm going to have to call this Hockey DNR. But can we keep it, Daddy, please? <sighs> Let me just call the DNR, sweetie. But, but, Daddy, look. <laughs> he wants me 
me to scratch his <sighs> belly. And I just thought this was going to be an ordinary Christmas this year. Dash away, dash away, yeah, yeah! Hey, Sven, you think we're going the right direction? You took the exit for Duluth. Well, gosh, how is that my problem? You're the one who can read. No, I can write, Sven. There's a difference. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, oh, 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 gosh. Sven, how'd they find us? You better pull over. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, this isn't good, Oli. Put that eggnog away. It's just eggnog. Still, drinking and driving is drinking and driving. There, Vix. Oh, he won't hurt you, Officer Harley. Not when he's covered in Vix vapor rub like that. It's when it wears off that that's the problem. Sven, Oli, I, w- what in the, have you guys been drinking? Oh yes, ma'am. We've been drinking a lot. Sven, Oli, show me what's in your uh, elf jacket. Oh yeah, here you go. <laughs> eggnog. Yep, that's eggnog. Non-alcoholic though. Oh, we're real sorry, Sheriff Harley. We shouldn't have been drinking and driving like that, you know. Oli gets a little carried away, as you can obviously tell by the bulge in the elf suit. Don't waste my time. I already gave you a warning about that reindeer. And now someone dropped a reindeer off at 1406 Balsam Avenue. That didn't happen to be you, did it? Because I told you if you ever went near another reindeer, I'd reinstate your charges. Oh, no, that wasn't us. You got the wrong guys. Uh Uh-huh. How come the note says, love Santa and his loyal elf, Oli? Oli, you wrote that on the note? Oh, well, Sven, I didn't want you taking the credit there, being Santa and the big shot and all. Does anyone want to tell me what this is about? Okay, yeah. Uh, you see, we hit a reindeer on 95 and we thought we killed Rudolph, so we tried to bring a new one to Santa at the waffle breakfast, and it turns out that he's not Santa after all. He's just a guy from Wisconsin. And after that, Rudy... Who's Rudy? Oh, the reindeer we caught. Rudy wouldn't leave us alone. He's kind of like a dog, you know. But when we were at the waffle breakfast, we met someone named Winona who always said she wanted a horse. So we knew she would love Rudy so much, dear. Yeah, but the eggnog was uncalled for, Sven. Oh, yeah, that's true. You did. (laughs) 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 Right, yeah, Sheriff Harley. (laughs) Uh In all my years as a sheriff. (laughs) All right, here's what I'm going to do. If the reindeer truly wants to stay with that girl, she stays. But I'll have the DNR monitor it. No way do I want to get between Santa Claus this Christmas. But as for you... I'm giving you one night in jail for, um, uh, drinking and driving. Oh, no, we are so sorry, Sheriff Harley, for the eggnog. Oh, but we deserve that for sure. Yeah, we know you do such a good job around here. Now, why don't you get your, uh, sleigh home, and I'll drive you to the station. Oh, yeah, that's very gracious of you, Sheriff Harley. Oh, yeah, you think we could swing by the quick trip over there? They got a good deal going on the coffee. Oh yeah, that's good coffee. Oli Olsen, loyal elf of Minnesota. Oh, wow, you really know how to blind a guy there, don't you? Hey, that's a good looking picture, Oli. Hey, how much do you charge for a copy of that? Oh, hey Sven, Oli, it's Christmas Day. We got the radio going. Why don't you come join us? Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, you guys want a glass of eggnog, hey? Oh, no. No, 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 no. None of that for me, officer. You see, that's what got us in this pickle jar. Yeah, never again. I'm not going to touch eggnog for the rest of my life. Are you, Sven? Nope. You, Oli? Nope. You, Sven? Nope. You, Oli? Nope. Hi, you see, I got that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was was supposed to be when I said it. Merry Christmas, Oli. Merry Christmas, Sven. I don't know, I'd say Guitar Gundy is really on a roll there. I think it's all fake for profit. He'll probably move to California. Oh yeah, no joke will be on him after that. Well, Santa's sleigh come riding in, not a creature was stirring inside. But he woke me up with
with a glint in his eye Said the fishing looks good tonight yeah, yeah, yeah. Said I dug deep into his sack I got this new rod for your kid Jim But hey, there's a full moon right now And you need it more than him Well, I sure hooked a musky And Santa helped me reel it in But it took all night and nine reindeer pulling up Give in In the morning all the kids in town Never got their Christmas gifts But Santa and I didn't seem to mind Cause golly just look at this fish Well Santa won't you take me fishing My wife just had a fit She said if I'm going out tonight She's gonna put me on the naughty Merry Christmas, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this story. Exciting news, we have a book coming out in a couple weeks here in the middle of January. It's gonna be called Blobs. And we're also gonna release an audio story with the illustrations. If you look up Blobs, the swirling adventures of snowflakes, you'll be able to find it online. If you wanna subscribe or share, click down below. And if you wanna see the cast for this episode, um, look in the description below as well. Thank you for coming along in this adventure.